Well, for a second I thought it was Friday. I was gonna wish everybody a happy Friday. Thank God it's Friday, TGIF, whatever. But it's not, it's Saturday. So, um, I guess welcome to the weekend. I just got here. Um, let's see what what the world has for us today. The, the cards have for those of us inquiring a new unique message for today. Shuffling feels difficult. The cards don't want to arrange themselves. Why? I got my booster shot yesterday morning. I had a lot of trouble sleeping. Alright, well we have New Moon Aquarius carrying over from yesterday, now in the first position. It says, bring love into the situation. So somebody's being asked to look at this from another perspective, some broader perspective. Have faith in your dreams, waxing crescent moon. Waxing. And blue moon, believe in the impossible. Hmm. Yeah, there's some sort of opportunity that does not want to be missed here. <laughs> Um, it almost feels like um, when you say, oh, I would really like for this to happen, or I would really like this, it's almost like entering a lottery. And when you enter the lottery, you, you know, you may carry certain feelings around your chances to win, let's say. Oh, yeah, I know that, that I will, there's a chance I could get this money, this award, this this reward, this giveaway, whatever. But it, it's sort of saying that you're not looking at this from as great a perspective as you can be, as in, well, what if, what if you win the money? What if you get the boat? What if? So there's two things happening, I think. One, expand your, your knowledge, your, your mind, the way you think about your own life to make room for that boat, to make room for that money when you enter the lottery. Like when you take that action, you're not just like doing something and then being like, yep, that's never going to work. Because, you know, that's never going to work. That's sort of what's happening here. So believe in the impossible, have faith in your dreams, and bring love into the situation. Bring love into the situation as in, oh, you know, Aquarius is all about sort of like bigger picture and sort of future thinking. There's something here, there's something, there's a situation or something here being laid out for the greater good and it does align with your dreams, whether or not you believe that it could right now. That's what's here. Hmm. I like the purpley blues in this spread. Um, I'll share a really quick story about this metaphor from from this three card layout. Um, way back when, I was in CCD class, like some religion class, and we had all done like um, like a, a group art project, a class wide art project where I think we all painted our hands on this massive, you know, Thanksgiving season like roll of paper it was massive and this thing had to be rolled up and only one person could take it home and I was I think I was like not paying attention honestly because everyone ro rose their raised their hand for something and I simply raised my hand out of like seeing everybody else was doing it and I was like oh, I don't want to miss out what is this so I had no attachment I'll just say that no attachment to the outcome because I had no idea what the fuck I was signing up for um, and I didn't even know that I had won until my number was called, but right before there was like this tense moment in the class of anticipation 
and I, I didn't feel the, the tension, but what I did feel was like this deep knowing of, it's me. It's mine. It's me. Like the, the feel, knowing the feeling that I'm, a, it's about to be my turn. I'm about to be called. And I still had no idea what the hell it was for, honestly, until, um, yeah, I think, you know, the memory goes sort of vague after that because the next thing I remember just is just taking this thing home and it's pretty large and bulky and I was just a child, so, um, that's sort of the feeling there because like from attachment, we can get a lot of some like worrying feelings. And the purpose is not to worry here, but to sort of like keep applying the pressure of some sort of positivity and, and belief and knowing that something on your path is really going to happen for you if you believe it hard enough. All right, let's see what's happening here with the actual cards themselves. Hmm. So this is about methodology here. <laughs> I'll say because the Hierophants shows up all about tradition. Queen of Pentacles is our creature comforts. It's how we balance our life and our work. And it's so this might be sort of maybe um, something about your 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 home life and your career or your work life coming into a bit of a into a head and you're sort of approaching this by very traditional means, maybe trying to set some um, boundaries and or just like n n trying to keep things separate, honestly, right? You're trying to keep things separate, but you're realizing that this isn't really working. So how how can you bring things more into a balance here that where things feel a little bit more integrated? That's what's happening here. Let's keep going. I'm doing a cross spread today. It's just a little bit more detailed. Oh my goodness. My back. My back. Just as I said, my back. This Ten of Wands came out. <laughs> my back. Hmm. There's a lot of resistance on the table. I say that because there's a lot of reversals, but like, um, there's also some really good reversals which means there's this there's a desire to change something. I see somebody w wanting to make things better somehow. Let's see. So someone someone else someone else's opinion or something is getting in the way of you changing how you balance your life. And I say balance very loosely here. I know balance is like a really cliche sort of word and it comes up a lot in the tarot. I just mean that this integration, I mean the integration of something relating to, to your work or your life. And, and I honestly just the both, both of it. It's how like the energy of like how you, um, nurture yourself and take care of yourself. It has to do with your stability. It also has to do with just how you take care of yourself physically and mentally and spiritually. Like the integration of all of that. Something is not working. And it might have something to do with other people's opinions getting in the way. You know, we have the, it's the five of wands. I take this as like a dissonance card. It's just like a lot of noise. So, um, What can I say? Like, there's the sun, and then we have the death in reverse.
So Leo, Scorpio, right? This, I feel like this is for somebody who's like really wanting a career change, honestly. That's what I'm getting. Because it's almost like you can, the sun is throwing me off. You can uh, perhaps, if you stay in the situation you're in, perhaps you're happy. Perhaps you can find a way to be happy with this situation. But what really wants to happen is some sort of transformation, right? And that's what's being delayed or um, something else is calling you to change. Something. And so the first, I think the first thing you need to realize is, is where you're taking on too much. Maybe you're taking on other people's stuff. Maybe you're not getting enough recognition for all the work that you're doing and it feels like it's not really amounting to anything that could be a possibility it doesn't have to be about work but I just you know it's it is a convenient sort of um, situation to apply this to especially now that um, well you know you got to look at what's going on in the world honestly and a lot of people are having the same thoughts and discussions around what it means to work um, and how we all must work in order to survive and to exist on this plane and 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 that the nature of the work and that the um, you know the boundaries in which were provided work opportunities are often really exploitative and manipulative and and aren't really in alignment with our own well-being that's what's happening here okay there's two fives on the table lots of change and I see death card which is also about transformation the five and the seven of swords here are in reverse there is this is about something needing to be reformed this desire to do things in a better way. That is the hope. But I think that until you, well, let's go back to our three card spread here because what I see here at the end is the eight of wands in reverse, which is about sort of some sort of stagnation or something, something's not moving. Also death is in reverse here. So I feel like these two things need to be flipped upside down. You've got to either find some meaningful work, um, figure out what really inspires you so that you can have, so you can start to build faith in those dreams. What are your dreams? Believe in the impossible and bring love into the situation. Approach something from some greater perspective. Also, the Hierophant is a five. So we have three fives on the table. That's, that's got to mean something. Five, five, five. Should we look it up real quick? Okay, I'm back. 555 five, five is an angel number meaning that significant change is imminent. <laughs> Every change brings stress. It's part of being a human being. Something is telling you that a transition is in play in your life and all around you. Yeah. I mean, we know that fives are associated with change. So to see three fives is sort of like it's happening <laughs> um, you know let's see change adventure curiosity these are all five 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 hold on a second I see something else here Um, why is this? Okay, you know, I'm going to just have to read this another time, and maybe I will do another reading later as like a part two, because I just found a very interesting article about, that's about 555 published in this month by somebody. So maybe this is a, an angel number that's, coming up for other people or something 
yeah, significant change is imminent. Um, something that's really piqued my interest is this idea of the Pluto return for the United States. You know, Pluto takes about 247, 250 years to return to the same place in the sky where, you know, the country was formed. The Pluto return. Um, that would point to, like, a, um, you know, it would, it would be a, a very convenient time to be, like, addressing a lot of things that aren't working. Um, that does mean there'll, there'll be even further discomfort, I think, um, for a lot of people, for all of us. So, when we talk about, look at the bigger picture here, in, from this deck, it's almost like there's something that needs to have happened, as in, you are needing to be sort of guided toward changing in some way as a part of this change. Um, because I do believe every person has a part to play. So, um, what else can I say about this? I mean, there's a lot of strikes going on in Chicago and nationwide. Like, the workers are really um, uniting again in the face of um, adversity and and um, honestly, sort of like illegal and like really exploitative practices in in the work environment. Just look it up. You'll see, you'll find like so much stuff about it. Like no one's really talking about it. Why would they? 17 minutes. Let's clarify maybe some things here. What can um this death in reverse show me about that? Oh boy. This is a uh, strength, Queen of Swords, Knight of Cups, all in reverse, and the High Priestess. Hmm. Oh, that's why the Hierophant is your challenge. Okay. The challenge of the Hierophant is... The Hierophant is, is the throat chakra. It's about speaking. It's also Taurus, about what we, what we value. Like, what, are, what, is our, what is our stability? Like, what are the things that, 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 we, that we hold close? So, this is... It's also indicative of tradition and stuff like that, but... The death... Death card in reverse is clarified by Strength, Queen of Swords, Knight of Cups, all in reverse, and then the High Priestess. Which is like a little bit of secret, you know, the, the Hierophant and the High Priestess. The choice to speak up sort of is here. This, this like, I don't know why the word delicious just wanted to come out. Take that, whatever that means. But like, maybe because there's these pomegranates on her thing. Interesting. <laughs> Something juicy, like spill the tea almost. <clears throat> What I'll say is this, that if you are sort of in a, in a fearful state and or not really having a ton of self-confidence and or are just feeling like needing to keep yourself sort of warm and safe, that's also what's resisting the transition. I think the sun here, Leo, is, a, is an especially good sign for the kind of positivity and, and like joy that is extremely open and expressive versus the kind of lack of boundaries, like romanticizing and um, comfort that is actually 
closed off, if that makes sense. Like sometimes we do things to protect ourselves and sometimes similar actions or displays can mean totally opposite things. It really just depends on why you're doing them, like what it does. Does it open you up or do, is it closing you off from really speaking your truth? Is it avoidant behavior or is it sincere and open? Show me the Ten of Wands. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, for, here's Temperance again, being open. Knight of Wands, inspiration, moved by inspiration to be more open. There is resistance to change. The Tower in reverse, the Six of Swords in reverse, which is all about some sort of transition and moving. It's because the Ten of Wands clarified. I want to know what what about you is, is what is burdening you at this time? Like, what is it? And I think it's that I think it's that you're afraid. <laughs> I think it's that you're afraid and you're, you don't feel quite ready to move forward. And the message in here that the kind of anxiety that's showing up is sort of what I tell myself every day I go to, I have to go to work, which is everything comes at you just one day at a time. Like you'll be able to handle it. It's just one day at a time. You don't ever have to look at it, look at a situation or think about a situation and imagine all the possibilities, all the outcomes and have a decision for every single particular turn in the maze. That's overwhelming. Also, Sagittarius is now here, right? So, I think once you can sort of release the resistance to change, allow things to sort of allow yourself to be guided in some way, you'll be able to make the transition and see things from a diff totally different perspective. Also, this might be very freeing for you. Adventure. Some sort of adventure. Coming up. I don't know if it resonates for you. Um, finally, let's look at the Eight of Wands, the outcome. Page of Cups. Three of Cups. Nine of Cups in reverse. Four of Cups in reverse. Hmm. A lot of cups. All cups. So, interesting. It's a lot of cups. <laughs> uh, all right. So this might, you might be confused about how you feel about a situation, like this, this might sort of pull, pull your emotions or your heart space sort of in various, um, directions. The wish fulfillment card, nine of cups is in reverse here. So it's almost like you're dissatisfied with, with the way that things are, are going and where you it's almost like you're open to receiving something unexpected you're like tapped into this like very youthful celebratory energy this might be actually some sort of message coming in by the next new next holiday what's the next holiday Monday I guess MLK day something happening on Monday that is disappointing the opposite of wish fulfillment hmm. I'm really not sure how to 
know how to take this. Extreme dissatisfaction. I'll just say that. That's what's causing some sort of stagnation here. What are you going to do with that? With that kind of dissatisfaction? Something needs to change. And it, it's almost like that. what's showing up here is that if this resonates for you, you're the one who's not changing. And that's why nothing's moving. So there might be something here about being more vocal about what's what's happening to you, what your experience is right now. That's what I got, y'all. I know this was a different one. It's interesting. Interesting stuff. But I hope you enjoy. And, ooh, we're done. Take care.